Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of AB in the Films. Okay, where do I start with this film? This is a movie that I have seen since I was a little kid. When I say little kid, I mean five years old. The fact that my dad let me see this movie when I was five, and it was on HBO, which means nothing is edited out. <laughs> Thank goodness those swear words went right over my head, guys. Um, because I remember watching this at, at my house when I was five years old. I remember it back in the 90s. I totally remember seeing this movie. And I remember watching it uh, when I got a little older. And I finally got it on DVD. That movie was hard to find on DVD. Because when I was a kid, Amazon was not a thing. Shopping online was not a thing, you guys. So... The way to find that movie was to go into a store like Barnes & Noble or Borders or Best Buy or even Blockbuster and try to track it down that way. And here's the thing. Blockbuster did not have this movie for rental. They didn't have it. Because this movie, I don't think Heaven Help Us was ever released in theaters. It was made for HBO. It's an HBO movie. But it was made in the 80s. But TriStar Pictures distributed this film. But it was made for HBO. It was not... I don't think this movie was in theater. Maybe it was. I don't know. But I just remember it was an HBO movie. So, but this movie's got a lot of big stars in it, especially for the time. I mean, Andrew McCarthy is in this movie. And this is... This is this came out the year before Pretty in Pink. Uh, Andrew McCarthy's in this. Donald Sutherland is in this. John Hurd. Kevin Dillon. Patrick Dempsey. I mean, he's like 18 years old in this, you know, from Grey's Anatomy. He's in this movie. There's a lot of, uh, and Mary Stuart Masterson, uh, from Some Kind of Wonderful. She's in this. So you got, you got some well-known people in this movie. And, um, and I have a really good connection with this movie. I think I've talked about this movie before in the Childhood Movies, uh, episode that I did back in, like, season three or four, but I've never given an entire review to this, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about with this movie. So, let's talk about the film. What is this film about for those who haven't seen it or have ever even heard of it? Um, it takes place in the mid-60s. It's about, uh, this group of, uh, boys that go to an all-boys Catholic high school, and there are no nuns in this high school. Uh, it's all brothers, no sisters, brothers. So, um, but uh, one of the new students, uh, Michael Dunn, who is played by Andrew McCarthy, uh, he's the new boy and he's learning, like, okay, who's who around here and all that. And, uh, you know, he meets the principal, played by Donald Sutherland, uh, Brother Thaddeus. Um, and uh, it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of boys, you know, going to Catholic high school in the '60s. There are scenes when the guys are going to confession during school. There are scenes when uh, they have the school dance, when they get in trouble with a teacher, and it's a really, really good movie. This movie is ten times funnier than I remember it to be, especially watching it now as an adult. Um, but one of the main running th themes throughout the movie is there's this one teacher that is a complete jerk. Just imagine the teacher who you hated the most in high school. That's nothing compared to this guy. Okay, this guy is... This guy is just horrible. Horrible teacher. Horrible guy. But again, you know, it was the 60s. It was a different time. But this guy is such a jerk, Brother Constance. The, the, the guy who plays him, really good acting here. Like, you really hate this guy in the movie. Um, and it brings back, and you know, watching it now, it just brings back those memories. And it definitely brings back memories to my dad, because my dad went to Catholic high school as well. No, not Catholic, uh, Catholic school. Not Catholic high school, uh, Catholic middle school. Because um, he, he, grew, he grew up in the 60s and 70s, and he had nuns there, and the nuns were just like this, just like the brothers. Um... But what I love about the movie is, aside from all the great scenes in the movie, because that's what a great movie is. It's one scene after the next. One scene after the next is great, and the scene you're watching is better than the scene that was playing before. That This movie would fall into that category, at least in my opinion. Um, so, I love, I love this movie. I'm going to talk about some of the fun, some of the bits from this film that I think are classic. So I'm going to spoil this movie a little bit for you, but I still recommend that you guys check this movie out. So here are some of the scenes that I love in this movie. 
One of them is when, um, you know, uh, Andrew McCarthy goes to St. Basil's is the, is the name of the school that he goes to. And he's the new boy. He doesn't know where his class is. And he finally gets there. And Brother Constance is there. And he's telling everyone, all right, everyone, your, your homework assignment was on the Holy Trinity. And, uh, and he calls on Kevin Dillon, uh, who's Rooney. And he's a slacker. He's like a bit of a wise guy. He's like, hey, I'm not going to do my homework. I don't care. He's been held back for like three years and he picks up his homework assignment, blank piece of paper, there's nothing on it, and he goes, and how many times have we run into this before? Like, my, my dad's watching this movie with me, and he goes, I, I, we had a guy just like that in my height, in my school, never did his homework, didn't care, and he's, and he's reading it, and he goes, The Holy Trinity is a uh, total mystery, therefore it cannot be understood. <laughs> but I wanted the definition that's in the book. All right, the book. The Holy Trinity is, was, and always will be total mystery that can't, never could, and never will be understood. Mr. Rooney, do you have some sort of an emotional attachment to this school? So, so Rooney gets in trouble, and, and Constance finds out it was a blank piece of paper, and he goes, Oh, your homework seems to have disappeared here, mister! And he starts embarrassing him, him in front of all the kids. And, uh... And Dunn's watching this and he can't believe it. And then Caesar turns around and he's got gum on his nose. All right, Caesar. Brother, before I read my definition, I'd like to preface. What my... are you chewing? It's gum, brother. Stick it on the end of your nose, please. <laughs> and you will leave it there for the remainder of the day. Welcome to St. Basil's. My English teacher made someone do that when I was in high school, and immediately I thought of this movie in that in that in that classroom at that time. I'll never forget it. I'm like, this is just like heaven help us. Like I remember thinking that. Hands and knees, Mr. Caesar, up and down the aisle. <laughs> and let's hear it, Mr. Caesar. To whom, brother? To whom, brother? Mr. Dunn, turn the screws. The, the best scenes in this movie are when the five boys get in trouble with Brother Constance. Because Constance just keeps nailing these guys one time after the next, after the next, after the next. And it just keeps going on throughout the movie. And the best scene in this movie, for those who have seen this film, are the, is the, it's the last 20 minutes of the movie. The, the last 20 minutes of this film... Okay, I'll, I'll ruin some of it for you. As a prank, the boys decide to cut the head off of the statue of St. Basil <laughs> that sits in the courtyard, and they give it to Andrew McCarthy as a joke. Constance catches them in an assembly, pulls them out, brings them into the gym, and says, who did it? And nobody wants to admit it. And he starts whipping them. Whipping them. Now remember, it was the 60s, it was a different time. No teacher would get away with this today. But back then, it was different. So he starts whipping all the boys one after the next. And Caesar doesn't want to go through with this. He's terrified. And he's always got a note. And he shows it to Brother Constance. The famous note. I see you've had it laminated. To protect it. Because <laughs> he knew Constance would rip it up and throw it away and they would go back to the whipping. But he's like, please, brother, can we work something else out? <laughs> and he starts hitting them, and Andrew McCarthy can't take it anymore because it's been building up the whole movie. And he turns around, and he slams Constance right on the ground, and he says, you leave him alone. And then Constance gets up and starts chasing him out of the gym. Let's go. I said, let's go. What is this? It's quite all right, brother. Everything's under control. Faster! This impudent piece of trash. Best scene ever in the whole thing. The scene when they all go to the school dance, and Rooney is trying to get with Janine, and... He's got his father's car. Now, his father is out of town, and Rooney can't even drive a car, okay? He's not, he doesn't have a license. 
He takes his father's car, parks it on a bridge. Dumb idea. He leaves the car to be with Janine. They come back. The bridge is opening because there's a boat coming through and the car is parked on the bridge right where it's going to open. And he gets in the car trying to start it and he can't start the car. And so the person that's opening up the bridge sees that and stops opening up the bridge because the car's there and it's going to fall in the it's going to fall in the lake. So so Rooney so the so the bridge stops and Rooney's like, "Oh, thank you God. Thank you. I'll never forget this God. Thank you." And then the person decides to close the bridge back up because it's open and the car's sitting there. So the person's closing the bridge and it's ruining the tires. And he's like, what are you doing to me, God? You're messing me up now. <laughs> and the car gets ruined. Janine pukes in the car. Next scene, Rooney comes up to Janine, black eye. What happened to you? My father just got back from Chicago. <laughs> um, it, gr gr that's another great scene. I'm trying to think what else was, uh, when they go to confession, okay, Caesar goes in to uh, confess to the priest his sins, and Rooney has got an idea. Father Abruzzi is the one, you know, giving confession, and he decides to leave the cubicle because one of the students was getting fresh or something, and he takes the student out. So there's nobody in the cubicle to hear the sins. And Rooney says to Patrick Dempsey, Corbett, he's like, hey, I got an idea. Keep an eye out for Father Abruzzi. And he goes into the cubicle where the priest should be to hear Caesar's sins. Father, I'd like to confess a sin I thought I could live with, but it's becoming a problem. An impure act? Father, I entered and typically won an interborough essay contest. I accepted a nominal cash prize, and the article was published in a community paper. Father, I failed to footnote some of my sources. Get to the sin, please. Plagiarism, Father. Alone or with someone else? With a girl? <laughs> and he goes, all right, all right, all right, you, you are forgiven. Do you have any other good stuff? Impure thoughts, desires, fantasy? <laughs> He's like, no, Father. What kind of a loser are you anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Caesar thinks this is a priest talking to him, and Rooney goes, you're going to recite one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and you're going to help your buddy Ed Rooney get passing grades, or you can kiss off Harvard, pal. And Caesar just sits there, and he goes, there is no God. <laughs> Rooney just shattered his beliefs in God over that, over a joke. And... Oh, and when he's revealing to, to, to the priest, like, Father, if this plagiarism is discovered, it will keep me out of Harvard. And Father, I was conceived to go to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. This <laughs> this movie. Oh, and they all go to, the, they all go to this, um, this parade to see the Pope. And they don't get back on the bus. They leave. They go to the movies. And Constance is, has the checklist. And he's like, where's Rooney? Where's Dunn? Where's Caesar? Where are they? They're all at the movies, <laughs> seeing an Elvis movie. <laughs> but yeah, heaven help us. If you guys haven't seen this movie, highly recommend that you check it out. And if you went to Catholic school at any time in your life, definitely check this movie out. It is funny. I mean, like, it, it's... Okay, it's it's not for kids. I mean, like like the F word, the F word's knocked around in this movie constantly. Every swear word you can imagine is in this movie, but it's really funny. It's got a lot of funny moments in this. Um, Donald Sutherland, I thought, was pretty good as uh, as Brother Thaddeus. Has to be called Brother Thaddeus at all times. Always Brother Thaddeus, not never Brother. He always he wants to hear Thaddeus after that. That's one of his uh, major tips uh, with the students. Um, Oh, and in the beginning, when when they're all standing, you know, because back then, um, th they have, like, this little clacker that would tell the students when to stand up in mass and when to sit down. And one of the boys has the clacker, and he keeps clicking it, so everyone's standing up, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. <laughs> it's, 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 a fun, it's a funny movie. It's, it's really funny. Uh, great acting in this film. Uh... It's one of those 80s movies that I really like. It's one of my favorite 80s films. Uh, I loved it. 
I've been watching this movie since I was a kid. I have it on DVD right here. If you guys want to check this movie out, check it out on Amazon. You can probably find it there. Um, yeah, yeah, re really, really great flick. And I will see you guys in the next review. Take care.